Yes. <laughs> We're back. Yeah. <laughs> How many years later? Hmm. I miss YouTube, by the way. I just can't keep up. Tell her to get back on YouTube and start filming. Again. I do want to start, but I, I can't. What's the problem? <laughs> First of all, laziness. Uh -huh. Laziness and laziness. <laughs> and laziness, <laughs> procrastination. And I mean, life gets in the way sometimes. You know what I'm talking about. Life gets in the way. I've had a whole, you know. Situation. Yeah. So I, haven't, I haven't been able to go back to YouTube, but I'll come back. I mean, please. When Abena decides to move from Australia and come to Ghana, or she don't decides put, to. Don't put it on me. <laughs> or she decides to bring me to Australia, then I'm yeah, going okay. to be very yeah. serious. All right, all right, all right. Oh. Look how fly her hair is. You think my hair's flat? Yeah, that's right. That's right. She uh, makes me want to cut all my hair off. I need some shades. What, wait, what well, are my hold shades? On, hold on. Hold on one second. The queen of shades, this one. Hi. With the short hair. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Anywho, so I've been out. It's been what, two years? Two years. What have you been up to in Australia? Being a mother mm -hmm. to this boy named Sebastian who is just so much he's so much work so that's all I've been doing taking care of him so how do you still glam up yourself if you've been very busy okay and you, you still do your hair you still do your makeup you, you still put on like nice clothes like how do you do all of that um that one day it's just second nature like second nature like if i don't do that i will lose you know how women always like oh i lost myself when i became a mm -hmm. mother i've heard a lot of people yeah. say that right so doing the makeup doing the hair you know putting on a nice outfit allows me to keep a part of me that was there before i became a mother if that makes right. sense so it does i mean i w it just means i wake up a little earlier to do my makeup before I take care of my son. So. Because I have I have been around you since mm -hmm. you came to Ghana mm -hmm. and I've seen how how like it's not easy with Sebastian yeah. and all of that. So He's I'm wondering like what time in the day do you even have to even do your makeup? Because if it's me I'll just want to sleep right after because I'll I'll be tired, you know. No, I, I will wake up earlier than he you know than him. So you can get him dressed. Like, yeah, and so I I always try and do myself first, get myself out of the way. That didn't and sound just... right. That did not, that did not sound right. <laughs> hey, take your mind out of the gutter. No. Did you I like to do my makeup first, right. take care of myself. I hope I'm not being too annoying. No, we we love you here on this channel. Oh, Everybody thank you. loves I you. Love you guys Everybody too. Loves Why love you so much? Oh my god. Make sure you come to the beauty bar when you Please, come to Ghana. Please, guys. This year of return, all you people coming for the year of return, Make how much come to the bring. beauty bar and get yourself beautified. Please. So you can come and buy from come me. Come and slay Ghana. And come and use my <laughs> services. You're going to love it. Yeah. Come and do it all. All at the beauty bar located in East Legon, Shiashi. Next and I'll to next to the gallery. Or the XGR building, mm -hmm. or the Allied Film That's Station. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> <Ghana location. laughs> Mommy, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. Mommy, I'm back again. Okay. I'm not doing this. You know what? <laughs> I am just going to put this on airplane mode. <laughs> so no more calls. No more calls. Yes. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Okay. So, me as a Ghanaian, I come to Ghana. I stay here for a few weeks, a mm -hmm. month or two, then I leave. When I come here, the things that my eyes see in terms of how Ghanaian females are, it's like, oh, I don't know if I could live in this environment because oh. it's so <clears throat> pretentious, it's so image conscious, it's so competitive. Like, my mind isn't built that way. For me, you're very different to a lot of the females that I and see and I encounter, yeah. you know, and that's why we get mm -hmm. along so well because right. we kind of have the same level of thinking, we're on right. the same wavelength. Right. But ninety percent of the girls here don't. I wouldn't be able to befriend. I wouldn't be able to like hang out with because the yeah the thinking is just too shallow for me. How do you deal with it? How do you get around it? Because you live here, so in yeah, there you, you have to interact with them. You have to. Mm -hmm. Like your paths will cross, so how do you like maintain who you are as a person, but mm -hmm. still kind of function in this in this place we call Ghana? So you know how you know how we always say, just stay true to yourself. Uh -huh. Just 
just be who you are. Mm -hmm. So I feel like right now what's going on in Ghana is mm -hmm. maybe in the African countries is it looks like we're all chasing after something. I don't know what everybody's chasing after, but <laughs> it's true. right now there's this everybody wants to be somebody somebody yeah, it's in true. such a rush that it's becoming a problem. I don't know yeah. if you get what I mean. Like people would actually walk over people they love and people they know just to get somewhere. Yeah. But so, where but where what is where is that somewhere they're trying to that, go? That is what I don't get. <laughs> is that it is, to be the number one person on Instagram? Probably is it, everybody's trying to be on top and then they forget that, okay. Wait, am I deviating from the question? No, no, no. no okay, you because you one. asked me how am I able to stay yeah, here. Yeah, so this well, is... Well, I'm so. usually my bedroom must be so <laughs> <laughs> When you have to go out and oh, when, I have to, yeah. when I have to go out, so... Okay, I don't know if you guys have ever been... If you can relate, sometimes you go out and you meet people you know and they're going to act like they don't, they've not seen you. Mm -hmm. you. You get that a lot in Ghana. Ghana yeah. A lot of girls over here do that. Like, they know you, they will see you, but they're going to just mm -hmm. turn your face and then act like they haven't seen you. If I see you and I know you, I'm going to come and say, Oh, hi, how are you doing? That's like, it. when you're nice, you make you make people yeah, uncomfortable. So just keep being, being yourself. Just be nice. I mean, stay true to yourself, focus on yourself, mind your own business, drink some water. And mind your business. Where's the water? <laughs> water the and mind your business. <laughs> that's, that's, how I, that's how I live in this country, just mind your business. Long distance relationships. <laughs> Actually, that's a question that a lot of my subscribers and yeah. people who follow me are always asking about long distance relationships and how do you know when person is the one and what are the signs and what should you put up with what shouldn't you put up with so i can only go based off my experience but yeah. what what's your experience like <laughs> <laughs> with long distance guys don't do it <laughs> see she has a very different no i mean experience it's, it's not even about it's it's not it's not even it's not even about the guy, but yeah. the whole, you know, the whole distance thing. If you're trying to be with someone, yeah, it's hard. And it's, it's really hard. It's very hard. It's really, really hard. Yeah. But no, seriously, like long distance is not easy. Yeah, I know that. It's not. It's not. It's, it's a very difficult thing to go through. You have to be, you have to be very strong to do long distance. To do it. Yeah, and do it successfully. Be, you have to psych up yourself mentally. Yeah. You have to be ready for it. Yes. And both parties have to really love each other and, and be to... on the same page. Exactly. Be on the same page. Want if the not. same thing out of the relationship. Right. Be willing to put in the same work, right. the same effort mm -hmm. in order for it to be successful. Right. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yep. Are you coming or are you going? Are you going to sit here? Sit here or go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The struggles of motherhood. Oh my goodness. <laughs> having a boy. Having a boy. My goodness. If you okay, so when are we having a girl? We need a girl. Look at me and my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when are we me having a girl? Mouth. When are we having, when a, are we girl? having when a girl? Are we... No, from you. <laughs> I'm not married yet, so when I get married. Will you carry the girl for me? I'll have the yeah. girl. <laughs> you carry the girl for me. Honestly, guys, this is what Maggie and I have reduced our lives to. Right. <laughs> this trip, this is what's been happening a lot, eh? Yep. A lot of bedroom chit chat. Trust me. We haven't, like, gone out anywhere. You know how back, back then we were always out? We haven't been any. We haven't even gone out to eat lunch, crap. He's not saying hi. No one. <laughs> Say hello, everybody. No, 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 don't. Don't trip. Say hello. But no, Sunday we have Sunday. We Sunday have a we're date. planning to go to have breakfast. She said and, it, and on oh God, I will not disappoint this she time. She said it, honestly. So I, no, she brings up all these wonderful ideas, and then when I'm like, "Hey, so are we still doing this tour?" She's like, "Have now, you're going to kill me." You know, this, we weren't we weren't supposed to do this here. First yeah, we're of supposed all. to do a proper. We video. had a whole plan. Yes. and as usual. We're going to set Madame. up and film, but Madame just falls yes, the whole thing. Yes, that's right. But it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. This is real and candid, right? This yeah. is this is us and This, is, this is what we do. Just Thank come you, hang out. What are you doing here, Biggie? If you don't get down from this bed, <laughs> <laughs> down, Biggie, down. Bye. Say down, say Biggie. Down. down, Biggie. Biggie, no. down. No. Say down, Biggie. No. Down, Biggie. Yeah. Birthday girl. <laughs>
And the one and only Basta. <laughs> hey guys, so we are at the Body Beach Hotel. It's Malvina's birthday today. I'm taking her out and we're just gonna have a nice chilled day and enjoy her last few days in Accra before she heads back to Kumasi because I leave on Monday. Today is Friday. So yeah, we're just enjoying our last few days. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Seb is enjoying his last few days as well. He's lived his best life <laughs> the last two the last two months. So yeah, he's enjoying himself too. How are you enjoying your birthday? Oh, My new uh, YouTube sister, Precious Hannah. With one N. With one N. <laughs> yeah. We just met and we're just vibing. We're just Such talking makeup, beauty. I'm you learning know, so much. Like, YouTube. I have so much to <laughs> yeah, so um, I'll throw all her um, socials down in the description box and you can go follow her, support a sister, <laughs> support a fellow Ghanaian, and let's just keep rising in 2020. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sis is here. She's doing her thing. That's her stand. We're just trying to make a print on Ghanaian beauty industry. That's right. That's what we're trying That's to do. She's doing a good job because the hustle over here yeah. is oh no joke. She's <laughs> doing a good job. Thank you. Yeah. 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 We just finished eating at La Villa. Here's my sis, my D. There's Malvina. And it's my last day today. So it's and oh and Chief. <laughs> and Chief. And Sebastian. <laughs> it's my last day um in Ghana today. I leave tomorrow morning. So we're just spending some time together before I go home and pack up and go home. 